looking forward to see if Assen can bring us some more fortune. And um, you know, looking at results from previous years, it's a track that suits me, but not just me, also the Yamaha one's very strong here as well. So it's a place where we can make that step, but it's a it's step by step progress. You know, you have to we have to walk before we can run it. start to be honest so we have to have some faith you know keep my head up and um, hopefully we can get back to some kind of normality Jonathan Ray third round of the season here and easy circuit as in 17 wins here, 25 podiums. The stats tell a huge story about your history here at the track. But tell us about how you're approaching this weekend, please. Well, I'm really excited to be back at Aston. It's a track I'm really familiar with. Um, you know, during my younger superbike days, I spent a lot of time testing here. And yeah, exactly like you would expect. You know, it's a familiar track. You know, a familiar, good feeling. I know how, I know what it takes to be fast around here. But of course. I need to understand the Yamaha R1, and it's where the forecast doesn't look very favourable, but it's the same for everybody. I have to understand tomorrow's a key day, you know, to, to get my feeling right and um, to build the confidence. <laughs> so? Yeah, it's, ac it's actually decent. It really is good. Well, you know, sometimes you never know, do you? But the Yamaha motor is really good, really powerful. The chassis is not it's not fully conventional, but it handles well. Yeah, throw some of the clips we did with the Insta360 camera on, just to see. GB was impressed by them. Wait, check. What is that? Do you know what? It's a very good question. Why, why, why that face? You, it's up. Did he up? <laughs> yeah, well, you just had lunch. Everyone loves this bit, don't they? Oh, fuck no, the heels and collars are around. In full leathers, I'm 84 kilos on the nose, so that's four kilos over the over the soft limit of 80. What do you reckon he's going to be? Should we have a bet? How much kilo do you reckon? One? 81? Garrett, he's 80. Oh. I'm just doing the absolute minimum on my knees. I'm not trying to get in. You're 82? Huh? You're 82? I was 84, so. Okay, yeah, let's go. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Who is he? Look, he knows. He, he doesn't know. He doesn't, he doesn't look happy. He's heavy this week. 81 8. 81 8. Yeah, it's the, we've got the GT chicken. I'm not even going to try and pronounce it in Dutch, but Gert Timmer. Yeah, it's decided a lot of races. AP. He beat me in 2008 here. And that lead coming out of there, but. Just got that little bit of slipstream. We've been into this chicane a few times, pretty close together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, close enough, yeah. Alright, mate. Good. Yeah, good, thanks. Alright, Thank right, Paul. How are you doing? Hi, bye. Right. Jonathan Ray, if someone was to ask you to describe what Assen meant to you, what would it be? Oh, Assen's. Um, I think we talk about it in football terms, you know, man, you, the theatre of dreams. It feels like my theatre of dreams. Um, one of these places where I come, I just instantly have a good feeling. Um, my first ever good feeling of, of a World Championship race was here in Supersport. I came with the Tenkata Honda team. It was almost like a home race, and I really um, enjoyed everything about it. The build-up, the fans, you know, you, you can't express it as a rider, but going into this last chicane, the place is full. Rain, hail or shine. and. Um, Last lap battle here is um, it's nice because of the fast flow and nature of the track. It's like Phillip Island. The, it takes a strange race for it to get all broken up and fragmented. So generally you're on a bit of a freight train and uh, it's a really enjoyable one. Yeah, it's, it's like everything. 
We just need to find the way. Oh, it's one session. So, yeah, it can, it can just be as good as that. But I know it'll happen, but it's just, you're trying to force it to happen, aren't you? See you later. See ya. Guess one, it's raining and it's cold and it's windy. Welcome to us and One key fact. I've won the most races here in World Survive. You're doing this for everybody. It's flat. Or why am I getting picked yeah, up? Everyone. Favorite track in Europe. Assen. Front tire life is key. Um, but with the wind chill, it feels freezing. Yeah, that's a fact. Interesting fact about Assen. Fun fact about Assen. It's in the Netherlands. Actually, I, I walked past and someone was smoking a joint before. I almost said, can I have some? to say I wasn't expecting it to be honest um, but the bike felt good AP made a bit of a setup change just before um, we talked about the conditions not being super wet and not dry so we had a halfway house setup and I think it paid off so um, yeah I needed this the team needed this hopefully we can carry it into the race Last chicken, a bit, not red. Yeah. Like here, like this. Ready. And turn one and two. Shit. Yeah. Turn one, two, three, four. Oh, shit. shit. Five. Yeah. yeah. But after that, it's uh, completely dry. Five, four, eight, four, five, four laps. Yeah. Like very carefully, you know, because you know that you might do. But with vendors, you take a lot of time, no? Oh yeah. yeah. Huh? Like, Keep it calm, okay? I'm gonna tell you, like, if someone is not in slick on the grid, just to not go crazy if the guy is on in there, huh? points move on to tomorrow try and uh, improve the bike so that gives us some confidence you know if we'd have been jumping up and down that we're finally making progress would have been uh, strange but we're actually quite disappointed with it so uh, we'll move on to tomorrow and try and um, you know move a few more positions up the, the classification I mean you're very good in five um, and that might have helped there but I felt better than you through six seven Six, seven, eight. I wasn't super confident. Though. You were good getting out of five and good getting out of the chicane. Everyone that follows me on YouTube wants to know are you going to do more than um, 10 seconds out there today? But you put in the, on the last uh, YouTube. They go, who's this fucking guy Rinaldi just walking off? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> 
seats only. I'm signing. Hey, hey, hey. He misses me. That's the bottom line. Oh, he misses me. Good, mate. I do. Hey, I was uh, yeah, it was like, what time is giving those slicks? <laughs> Not that inspired about morning warm up to be honest. I think it's I think it's 10 minutes now. But it's so so cold and I think the track's still drying out, so big question mark in Super Pole is to use the SCQ tire, which was the Barcelona Super Pole tire, or uh, it might be too cold for that, I'm gonna have to use the SCX, but aside from that I'm sort of ready to go. I think so, but fuck. The thing is, the temperature is coming down more, yeah. 17 and a half now. And the wind is like... Yeah. And you were, you were much better from 6 to 11 compared to him. It was, it was strong uh, last weekend and... Uh, Let's say it's this. But also 11 to 12, you're much better. You yeah. went away from yeah. every yeah. corner. Yeah. I felt okay, but just with the SC0 rear tire and where we need to make the, ta the time is on the side of the tire. And I couldn't with the SC0. Uh, and then on the back straight, Ian only was so fast that I couldn't even stay in his slipstream. Yeah, frustrating, yeah. I thought I could give you. I mean, I got pole this weekend and I got a, a sixth and a fifth. Would have been nice to cap it off with another good result, but uh, we'll have to wait. We'll keep working away as a team and um, Mizano is a good track for me and the R1 was good there last year so hopefully we can make a bit more indoors there. Oh, we, well, I have it. We're going to put it on my YouTube channel tomorrow night so if you see that, you'll, um, you'll see it. And he arrived and just got through with no contact, clean pass, but he arrived just a little bit on the limit and crashed at the apex. and took my bike because I was just on his out, just just on the outside so yeah I'm fortunate for him because he's battling for the championship yeah no no bad feelings this happens in racing and um, he, he came to see me in Park Fermi and was super uh, apologetic and humble and I've done the same to him in the past so it's like okay now we can forget about that we can avoid each other and um, hopefully get through the rest of our careers without making any um, contact <laughs> would be nice <laughs>